Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave constructive comments, it does help other people. Okay, I'm gonna open up the message here. And the person's name is Sean, and the subject is mathematical maturity. The message reads as follows. Is it possible to attain mathematical maturity with an associate degree in mathematics? And that's the end of the question. Very simple, very short. And so for those of you that don't know, an associate degree in mathematics, at least in the US, is basically a two-year degree where you take basic college classes. You study some English, you take maybe a psychology class, maybe a history or a government class, um, a couple humanities classes, a couple math classes, and some science classes as well. Most of the colleges where you go to get an associate's degree will offer courses such as Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, maybe linear algebra. Usually they offer differential equations and some basic statistics. So his question is, after two years of studying in one of these colleges, is it possible to have mathematical maturity? I think the answer is yes, but you do have to be careful. You have to be very careful. And let me explain what I mean by that. So as a concrete example, I'll use myself. I went to one of these colleges where I got a two-year degree, and that's kind of how I started in college. And after my two years, I went out and I bought the book by Michael Spivak, which is a great calculus book. It's written very well. And I thought the book was very well written and I enjoyed it, but I still wasn't able to do some of the proofs in that book because I was lacking mathematical maturity. So my answer is, if you are trying to gain mathematical maturity with an associate's degree, you're going to have to do some self-study. And I think the right way to approach that is to pick up a book on proof writing and go through that book and learn how to actually write proofs in your free time. And I think that's something that I didn't do. In fact, I knew nothing about proof writing at that point in my life. I didn't even know uh, books on proof writing existed. I just knew that the Michael Spivak book on calculus was amazing and I was so happy to buy it. I purchased my copy new and it's a great book, but I couldn't get through the logical arguments in that book because I lacked I lacked those proof writing skills. I was able to do a lot of the computational problems, but not the proof ones. So, so that you don't make the same mistake I made, my advice would be to get a proof writing book. Now I have tons of proof writing books here. Uh, here's one I just picked up. This is Introduction to Abstract Mathematics. This is the one by Bond and Keen, and this is one that I've spent a considerable amount of time looking at, and that's why I wanted to mention this particular one. Now, there are other proof writing books. I have about six or seven, and they're all fantastic. I'll try to leave some links in the description. And honestly, I would recommend just getting a few because for some people, some books are better than others. Maybe you want a book that is just less wordy and has more concrete examples. Maybe you need more of an explanation. Everyone is a little bit different. So yes, you can build mathematical maturity with an associate's degree, which is basically a two-year degree in general studies, but you do need to supplement that with some self-study. And I say that mainly because you're not gonna be taking any classes that focus on proof writing, and that really, really helps build your mathematical maturity. For those of you that don't, don't know, what is mathematical maturity? Well, that's a whole nother discussion. Basically, in my view, it's your opinion to pick up a math book, read it, and, and understand it. So you can read what's in the math book and you can absorb it. Even if you've never seen the material or even if a lot of it is brand new, you'll be able to absorb it faster than someone who has less mathematical maturity. Uh, as an example, lately I've been reading a book which I'm going to review, it's fantastic. It's called What is Mathematics uh, by Courant. And I'm getting goosebumps because it's a great book. But to read that book and to understand certain things in that book, you are going to need a certain level of mathematical maturity. But when you have it, it's a beautiful book. So my advice is go out, get some proof writing books. I'll leave some links in the description. There's a free one called Book of Proof. You can Google that and get that. But yeah, that's, that's my advice on mathematical maturity. If anyone else has any advice for Sean on how he can help build mathematical maturity, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.